Now we at level one love off-label uses and creative things. We've got the live mixer motherboard, the B650. There's no E, although it does have the blazing M.2 and some other stuff, some DDR5 and some PCIe Gen 5. There is some Gen 5 here. I did a full review of this motherboard. We talked about a special peripheral, but I want to really bring this to your attention because this is some serious innovation that ASRock is doing, or just, they clever, it had a stroke of genius. Oh yeah, this looks like a PCIe card, right? Well, what is this PCIe card? This is AMD's chipset. AMD's chipset is on this PCIe card. I don't want to call it a B650 chipset, but remember from the AMD motherboard uh, block diagram architecture day stuff, they said, okay, AM5, we actually have two motherboard chipsets and you could connect both of them directly to the CPU or you could daisy chain them. And most of the time they end up being daisy chained for signal integrity reasons rather than connected, you know, in a sort of dedicated way. Well, ASRock, those mad lads, those very mad lads, kudos and mad props to you mad lads. This is the AMD Promontory chipset on a PCIe card, which gives us two X4 M.2 underneath our Biggie heatsink here, plus 10 gigabit ethernet, plus three type A and one type C 10 gigabit USB connections, plus two SATA connections. And yes, you do have to have a special control line connection. It's not just a PCIe card. You couldn't slam this into uh, motherboards that don't have this special J2 header, which is, you know, just the way that it is. But this gives you BIOS control as well. So in our special edition live mixer motherboard, does need to be special edition. We have extra options in the BIOS for controlling the PROM21, which is our second chipset on a PCIe card. It says expansion kit X670, X670 expansion. But this is a, a B650 live mixer. What's happening there? <laughs> this is the, the other chipset's not on the motherboard princess is in another castle. I love this. And so if you take a look at Linux, for example, and you were going to use this for Linux and you look at the IOMMU breakdown with IOMMU turned on plus the PCIe AER options set appropriately, this is one of the few configurations where you will actually get your downstream peripherals in their own separate IOMMU groups. That's awesome. So it's not just the CPU lanes that separate out into IOMMU groups. It's also other downstream peripherals. So when we did the motherboard testing, it's like, oh, the IOMMU group breakdown is pretty good here. Well, guess what? With this, it's pretty good as well. So you've got your onboard two and a half gigabit Dragon LAN along with your 10 gigabit interface here. And that'll give you some options if you wanted to you know, do full VM virtualization and pass through those PCIe devices, you totally could. Now, while you could rock M.2 RAID or you know, MD Admin or something like that in Linux, with your uh, two M.2s here, remember you're still physically only this X4 interface. If you're using slower M.2, like PCIe 3 M.2, that would be fine. That won't even bottleneck because they're PCIe 3 and PCIe 3 is half the bandwidth of PCIe 4. Whereas our interface here is actually pretty quick. Now I was hoping, maybe thinking possibly, that they had integrated Thunderbolt into this somehow because there is a Thunderbolt header on the live mixer motherboard, but that was not to be. You could add in a Thunderbolt controller one that has the header, and that does actually work, but we can't call it Thunderbolt. That's PCIe 4 or PCIe over PCIe 4, or the joke that I made in the motherboard review video, <gasps> PCIe over carrier pigeon. We're gonna phone it in, whatever we need to do to get those PCIe peripherals wherever we need them. And that is very exciting. So the ASRock Live Mixer. Now this is a special edition board, keep in mind. ASRock made it just for me. You're not gonna be able to buy the add-in card or modify your motherboard or anything like that. It's a special version of the Live Mixer motherboard. Just keep that in mind. But I think that Azerox's testing the waters here. If this is an accessory that you would buy, would you buy a PCIe add-in card that turns your X, you know, your 650 chipset motherboard into a 670 chipset motherboard, but that gives you 10 gigabit ethernet and more SATA and more USB and type C and more M.2 that's sort of muxed on there. That seems like a useful peripheral to me. And I think it's pretty cool, uh, personally. But I think ASRock's sort of testing the waters from an engineering perspective. But I love that they're doing that. That's so awesome. So awesome to think creatively. We'll put the chipset on a PCIe card. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. I like that. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1. This has been a quick look at the ASRock X670 Expansion Kit. I love to see creative things like this and taking a motherboard chipset and putting it on a PCIe peripheral to give us an inexpensive way to mux PCIe devices. Brilliant.
Good job, ASRock. I wanna see more of this. I wanna see this basically on every motherboard I can get my hands on. I would love to have a PCIe peripheral that had you know, a sound card, everything. This would work great in server motherboards that you wanna repurpose as a workstation. It's like, I'm going to use an AMD Epic as a, my you know, daily driver workstation. Can one of these cards, maybe with an X8 interface, do exactly the same thing, throw a sound card on that, you will sell a lot of them to crazy people. Admittedly, there may not be enough crazy people to make that worthwhile economically, but there would be that segment that gets really excited about such a peripheral because it's a PCIe card that turns a server into a workstation, and that's pretty awesome. I'm Wendell, this is level one. If you're new here, join us. We like talking about things that are strange and creative and yet somehow very awesome. I'm signing out, you can find me in the level one forums.